What do we got here? It is a precision type tool. Uh, we use it for getting finer details and f better information. Side scan goes out, gives us a really great image of a large area. Now we want to get a, a close up shot, more precision, more accuracy. So we should be able to get some nice details of the information we need on the bottom. Which means I should be able to get a more accurate idea of the exact size and shape of these rocks. And how, how far are we looking? Like, how far out can it scan? If we're in 100 feet of water, we can get a really nice image for about 100, 300 feet out. But if we need to get in close and see detail, we can drop it down to within probably five feet. All types of built-in measurement tools allow us to take orientation and bearing on these stone alignments and see what's kind of going on. We'll get it over the side here. Okay. The sector scan is gently lowered into position on the lake bottom. From here, it will begin to capture the data we need about the rock formation and send it back to our computers. Now we got to look at it on the monitor. So now we're able to see the images come up on the screen. So we're scanning a 60 foot range, meaning from this point of our sonar location to this outer ring is 16 feet. So we have 12 foot divisions. Uh, we have our, our compass on and so forth. We go to sound speed. We click in, our, our temperature down there is about 65. Since we're in fresh water, salinity is zero and our depth is about 45 feet. So we hit calculate, hit apply. We have our speed of sound is now set. Now we can start to see the individual stones. Yeah, and oh, that's fantastic. 